it's very intriguing when I go in to uh, any big building, a school or a hospital, and now I have an understanding of the system that is there and what's hidden behind the walls and what's moving around people, and they have no idea that it's there. My name is Matthew McGinnis. I am from Fairmont, West Virginia, and I'm a second year apprentice in the Plumbers and Pipe Fitters Union based out of Morgantown, West Virginia. I was looking to get into a trade uh, because I enjoy working with my hands and, and physical things. And I have family members that are in other trades. I have an uncle who is an electrician. And I spoke to him uh, about getting into the trades and he actually told me that this one was a good, in, good one to get into. Well, as an apprentice, we have in-school work um, two nights a week. We come for a few hours in the evening. And then we also have on-the-job training where we're basically kind of a shadow. You know, we go with someone that is already a journeyman, that has been in the trade for a while, and we follow them so that we can learn from them. They pass down their knowledge to us, and it helps to actually be able to see and do the things as opposed to, to just be told about them. At the end of the day, when everybody's packing up to go home, I can turn and look over my shoulder and I can actually see what I have done. And I know that in the future, it's actually going to be utilized for something. It's going to perform some action that is going to benefit someone in some way. And that means a lot to me. You know, as a kid, I didn't think that I would need from a math or a science class. Well, I'm not going to need to know how to do it. I'll never use it in everyday life. But weight and pressure and temperature and volume all those words that I heard in class when I was going through school as a kid are all things that I hear now. You can use a, a triangle to figure out how to move one piece of a round pipe from point A to point B, and I never would have assumed that when I was learning it to begin with. But now it's a crucial part of what I do. Okay, well, today we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to determine the length of a copper pipe that we need to go between two 45 degree angles to offset our pipe from one line to another staying parallel. If our pipe was coming in, it was going to run into something, so we needed to offset it. We want to keep it parallel and move it a certain distance, but a lot of times we'll try to avoid using a 90 degree angle because it restricts the flow more. So we use a 45, it's easier for it to flow. So we really weren't creating any angles. The angles are already there. All we, we're actually just figuring out the measurement for this piece. Now, for sides A and B of our triangle, our pipes are measured out three inches side to side, six inches end to end. So we're going to use these for our sides A and B to figure out side C, our hypotenuse, and get the length of our pipe to finish our project. It can be hard work at times. Uh, you can be doing simple plumbing with you know small copper pipe and it doesn't take a lot of physical effort or you could be working with a 10 inch steel pipe that you couldn't physically lift on your own and you have to use a chain fall or a crane or some type of machine to lift and you are constantly exerting yourself throughout the day so now we have our numbers in place we can start our math now six squared be 36, 3 squared is 9. Now we add our numbers together, 36 and 9 will give us 45. And now we have 45 equals c squared. So in order to figure out our actual value, we'll have to take the square root of 45 and that'll give us the value of c, which will give us the length of pipe that we need to complete our project. You have to find what you enjoy doing, what at the end of the day you don't regret. You want to show up the next day and you want to do it. And this trade is that for me.